In this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting real numbers using applications. This first example is asking us for the hourly change in temperature. If you look at this, from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock, we went from 82 degrees to 84 degrees. And most of us can look at that and say, oh, well, it went up 2 degrees. But how would we figure that using addition and subtraction? Well, to do that, we want to take the latest and then subtract from it the earliest temperature and see what we get. And if we take 84 minus 82, we see that it is a 2 degree difference. So we do the same thing for the rest of this table. From 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, we look at it and it looks like it went down several degrees. So we take a look at that and we say 6 o'clock temperature of 70 degrees minus the 5 o'clock temperature of 84 degrees is equal to, and remember how we do this, we add the opposite and we can just subtract the numbers. So there's a difference of 14 and the 84 is larger which is negative so it means that we went down 14 degrees and we can see that we did go down so it should be a negative number. From 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock temperature is 76 minus the 6 o'clock temperature which is 70. You can add the opposite or the first number is bigger and it's a positive number anyway so we should just be able to subtract and find out that that's 6 degrees. From 7 to 8, 8 o'clock is 75 degrees minus 76 degrees that the, we were the hour before and again we're going to add the opposite subtract the two numbers and we have a difference of 1, but 76 is larger so it's a negative 1 degree. From 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock we go from 72 degrees at 9 p.m. but it was 75 degrees so we're going to subtract that at, from 8 o'clock. And again we're going to add the opposite. The difference between 72 and 75 is 3 but 75 is larger so it's a negative 3 degrees and this final one is not applicable because we don't know what 10 o'clock is. Let's look at this example. Rhonda has $152.35 in her checking account. She deposits, so remember that deposits means she adds money to her account of $423.45 and then she writes checks and when we write checks we're going to subtract so it's 135 that she has to take out of her account and $93.58 and then also 350. So they ask us to write an expression and apply the sign rule so we can find out how much she has in her account after all of that. So think about it. We start with $152.35 and then she deposits $423. So she adds $423.45. And then she's going to subtract $135 and she's also going to subtract $93.58 and finally she's going to also subtract $350. Those are all her payments. Now before we actually go to the calculator and see this, let's see if we can make sense out of it. She has, it looks like 100 plus 400 would be 500 and approximately 70. $570, almost $600. And she's got to pay $135 and $350, $180, plus almost another $100. So she's going to be right on the verge. She may be a little positive, she may be a little negative. We know it will be pretty close. So let's see what it actually is 152.35. Plus 423.45 minus 135 minus 93.58 and minus 350. And her grand total in her account is negative 2.78. So she's in the hole $2.78. Finally, and we have another problem very similar to the one we just did. We see that we have total operating income for 2007, 
2008, 2009, and 2010 with these given values. They want us to find the total income, write the expression, and use the signs. Well, they tell us exactly what the signs are supposed to be. So we have a positive 1037, and then we're going to subtract 4,438, all of these being million, and we're going to subtract a 161 million, and then we're going to add 976. So again, before we go to the calculator, let's see if we can make sense out of this. If we have 976 and 1,037, that's 1,000 this is almost another thousand, so it's about two thousand, a little more than two thousand, but we already have to subtract four thousand, so this one should be a negative answer. Let's see if it really is. Clear this out, put in our one thousand thirty seven minus four thousand four hundred and thirty eight minus one sixty one and then plus the 976 and we get sure enough it's a big number they are way in the hole because this is two thousand five hundred eighty six million dollars in the hole 